this is the data table that you guys should have completed based off of the video from yesterday. So, in order to determine the molarity of acid, we need to be able to have that value of volume of base. So I need to take the final burette reading, subtract it um, by the initial burette reading, and we get 3.60 milliliters. Now I have all of the information I need in order to determine the molarity of the acid. So I'm going to go over here and show my work. So this is the hydrochloric acid. I'm going to use the guess method jaw. So we're using the equation MBVB equals MAVA. So MB is the concentration, which is 0 0.25 molar. Volume of the base, we just determined 3.60 milliliters. I'm looking for the molarity of the acid or the concentration of the acid. So it's a question mark. And we started off with five milliliters of um, acid. So the next step is to write out my equation. MBVB equals MAVA. I need to isolate the variable I'm looking for. The variable I'm looking for is MA. So I need to divide both sides by VA. VA cancels out, and I am left with MA equals MBVB divided by VA. Since I have my variable isolated, I'm just going to be substituting my value next. So that's MB. That's VB. VA. Once I multiply 0.25 and 3.6 and divide it by 5, I get this value in my calculator, y'all. Keeping my sig figs, uh, only one sig fig, so I'm rounding it to 0 0.2 molar. And that's the concentration of my hydrochloric acid. So I'm writing down 0 0.2 molar. Okay, so next thing, y'all, we're going to answer the post-lab questions. So number one, define a neutralization reaction. So simply an acid plus a base, which yields a salt and water. And I want you guys to remember that another name for a salt is an ionic compound. A cation and an anion bonded together. Okay? Compound. Ionic compound. So that's a salt. Write the neutralization reaction that occurs when sodium hydroxide is added to hydrochloric acid. So in the format of acid plus base yields salt plus water. The acid in this case is HCl. Base is NaOH. Yields, I'm simply switching my cation. So now Na is paired up with Cl. And then um, H is paired up with OH. And HOH is another way of writing H2O, y'all. I have my two hydrogens here okay so it's just another way of writing h2o it helps us with writing neutralization reactions so i recommend that you guys write it out as hoh why did you have to add an indicator to the acid in the flask that was the phenothaline y'all um so both acid and base are colorless solutions. The indicator helps us 
determine the endpoint. of a titration. Or in other words, when the acid-base reaction is complete, there's a permanent color change. Okay, number four, what is the relationship between H plus or hydrogen ions, the concentration of hydrogen ions, and the concentration of hydroxide, OH minus ions, when the endpoint is reached in an acid-base titration? So in that case, y'all, we should note that the concentration of hydrogen ions should equal the concentration of OH minus ions. And then last but not least, y'all, we have a problem to solve. So we're going to use the guess method. I'm going to underline and label and list my variables, right? Again, list my givens. It's the first one, G for guess. So 30 milliliters of 0.00, .00 molar KOH. So that's a base. I see that OH is a big guess indicator there. So this is my MB. This must be my VB. The word of connects the two. Are needed to neutralize 10 milliliters of HCl. So I see a volume. And the HCl, the H, tells me that this must be an acid. So VA, an unknown concentration, y'all. So that's what we're looking for. It's asking for what is the molarity of HCl, MA. So I'm going to list out my givens in the order of my equation. So MBVB, MB looking at my word problem, VB, 30 milliliters. MA is what we're solving for. So that's my unknown, the U part of the guess method. So VA is the 10.0 milliliters. So now, MBVB equals MA VA. I want to find MA, y'all. This is what I'm looking for. So how can I get that by itself? I divide both sides by VA so that this VA paired up with the MA cancels out and MA is all by itself. Okay, so the next step, y'all, since I have my variable I'm looking for isolated, I'm going to be substituting my values, plugging in. So MB is 0 0.500 molar times my VB is 30 milliliters divided by VA is 10 milliliters. So once I do, I get 1 1.50 molar. So that's the concentration of my acid. 1.50 molar. I kept three sig figs because all of my numbers here are three sig figs. Okay, y'all. Good luck on your post lab quiz. Have a good one.